Hey what's up guys and welcome to a quick unboxing of this smart band here, it's the Razer Nabu X. It was a smart watch, kind of smart band, that was a really interesting idea when it was launched but it really never picked up traction. Um, it sold out a lot but it really, nobody really uses it much. There were a lot of little flaws here and there, although it was, it was trying to bring something pretty special to the field. It's by Razer. Um, it's a pretty interesting idea. It was super cheap. It's, like, uh, it's still brand new, sealed, and that's pretty much a testament to how well this thing has sold. It's not popular. You can get it for like ten bucks, even though the original price was like sixty. Okay, so let's pop it open. It's brand new, sealed. Wait, let's take a look at the box. So on the box, you've got a few things. Let me just show you the text here. Um, the text wise, you don't really get much, you just get um, some stuff talking about how you can stay active with this and adventure together with this, like bend to bend connectivity, shake hands to exchange contact info. That one's really hard to do because not everyone, pretty much nobody wears a Nabu X, uh, discreet notifications, and um, it seems pretty interesting. Alright. So it's got tech specs below, it's got 5 to 7 days of battery life, 30 days of standby, water resistance up to 1 meters of depth for 30 minutes. It has a one size fit all strap, that's interesting, all the bottom here. It's got displays and sensors, 3 LEDs, and uh, it's got accelerometer, cylinder vibration motor, um, and you can you pair through Bluetooth. Very interesting. It, it, it claims to have a growing collection of third body apps, but the thing is, there was a growing collection of third body apps at first because it was like open source, but it never really picked up, so it, it, it kind of just stopped. It was a good, a good effort by Razer. Attacking the mainstream is kind of a difficult thing to do. Alright, so let's try to open up this case, cut it the top off here. Yeah, actually, pretty simple packaging. Not a very Razer style, actually. Razer's I thought usually Razer style I think would be a very kind of fancy like packaging. But this is not a game of product, it's supposed to be mainstream, so we get this it doesn't even say for gamers by gamers on the packaging. So you can you can really tell like Razer was trying to go mainstream with this kind of product. So let's focus here. This is the Razer Nabu X product itself. I'll talk about it later. It's very clean, very simple looking band. Uh, let's see what we get inside. So we get a little letter from the boss, uh, Min Yang Ten. Live smarter, blah 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 blah. Continue dedication to a future where smart devices, blah 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 blah. Pretty pointless, really. Um, but it gives a pretty nice unboxing experience. Let's just remove this tape here. I'm just gonna put it down from the bottom. Okay. Ah, uh, we got this in nice little letter. Um, you get it pretty much with every razor product. You get a nice little um, instruction manual, which is pretty thick actually. Very small but very thick. Um, it's for a instruction manual for a smart band, and you get a razor sticker. This isn't like the holo razor sticker; it's just an opaque color, which is kind of kind of crap. But whatever. And you get the charging cable. Also in the box, you get this charging cable. Um, it's actually very similar in look to the. Fitbit kind of like charge HR cable that I've used before. Um, yeah, so it's it's pretty interesting. All right, so let's take a look at the device itself. So this is the device itself. Very very clean, very super simple, very minimalistic. I like that. Uh, it one size fit all as it claims. You can just kind of tighten it. Um, but I'm not gonna put it that tight. On the bottom, you find the area to charge your device. If the thing will focus, that'd be great. Alright, so you find a way to charge your device, which is nice. And uh, in the front, you don't really get anything except for the three LEDs here. So that's pretty interesting. So yeah, I'll be reviewing this, so stay subscribed for that. And uh, I guess this has been a really quick unboxing and overview of the Razer Nabu X. A interesting idea that didn't really pick up, which is kind of unfortunate because I love the design of this. It feels way better than the Fitbit Flex. That's for sure. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, if you guys have the time and you want to, um, you guys can watch some other of my videos. Link somewhere on the screen that will help this channel out so much. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. This has been ZX Tech, and uh, goodbye.